What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Owl. And welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Today, I'm going to show you how to make some old school goulash, baby. So, like my father would say, let's rock, let's roll, let's go! That's right, buddy, the old school goulash. Now, I call it the old school goulash because of two reasons. Number one, you may have had this at your old school when you were going to school, you know, just a little kid in the streets just doing your thing. You may have had this on your old lunch tray. And secondly, because this is a Midwest classic, baby. You know, if you were at your grandma's house, I bet she was making this and y'all were watching uh, In the Heat of the Night. Y'all remember? In the heat of the night. That was a good one, baby. And so, this is going to bring you right back home. Now, I've been out, you know, since 5 a.m. this morning, clearing snow, trying to work, trying to get that money. And I'm cold to the bone. So, I want something to warm me up and something to do me good, good, good. So, I'm going to make some goulash baby and I'm not talking about the boots that you used to wear when you went to school to get through the rain I'm talking about the goulash not the galoshes so we are going to go ahead and start this thing off which I already did you know me and I went ahead and boiled some noodles now today I want you to use those old elbow noodles we're rubbing elbows with old black owl you see and you're going to put those in the pot and let them boil now you're saying to yourself black owl black owl you only call for one pound of noodles. They look a little small. Well, those noodles, you know, they're gonna do like me after high school. They're gonna, get, they're gonna get bigger. And that may be to the uh, mango. So, oh, but delicious. So, next thing that you wanna do, you wanna take your noodles out, wanna let them drain, put them to the side, and then we're gonna get our ground beef. And today, we're gonna use two pounds of ground beef. And that's just so that little lady will come along and say, where's the beef, where's the beef? You know that little, old lady from the 80s. So, we are gonna put the ground beef in there and we're gonna add a little salt and pepper, paprika sparing. So, we're gonna put that in there and let it brown. And once it browns, let's go ahead and drain that grease off because we don't want no grease or no Arthur Fonzarelli. We want that good, fresh, good, 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 good. So, then I want you to go ahead and put the, you know, the meat back in the pan or already, you know, it was in the pan and you drained the grease and you did your thing. And then we're gonna add those noodles back to it. And then we're gonna add our other ingredients and that's what we're gonna do now. So we've moved to the past and we're now in the future and doing our thing in the present. So, and this is gonna be a present tonight. Oh, good stuff. So, first thing that you wanna do is put your tomato paste in. We've got the meat, we've got the noodles. What do you need but some tomato because that's what makes the, that's what makes a ghoul a lush, baby. So, put a little tomato paste in there and I like to plop it on all four corners. Evenly spread, sir. Now, let's go ahead and get a little tomato, and that'll give that good, good, good tomato flavor. And we are going to dump that down there right now. And last, we're gonna add some little Italian seasoning, sir. It's raining Italian seasoning. It's got that good green to it, baby, and you know I like that green. Oh! Now, you wanna let this stew and flop for a while, and if you know what I'm talking about by stew and flop, you're a good friend of mine. But if you don't, you put it in there, you let it stew, and when it starts to kinda burble and gurgle and gurgle like an old witch's cauldron, then you wanna stir it around and turn it on low, let it simmer for a little while, let it get that good flavor, and then we're gonna be ready for a sight, we're gonna be ready for a bite. It's gonna be D, 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 delicious tonight. Triple D, big D, ooh, wee. baby the time has come the goulash is done and I'm having the first bite you know for me so fork bite excuse me mm. 
Whoa. Man. That is the good stuff right there. That's that good, good goulash, baby. Yeah. And you're saying to yourself, like, oh, could I put it in a uh, casserole dish and put a little cheese on top of it and do some other things and put it in the oven? You know, you could, but you know me. I get time for that shit. So I did this. But I'm glad that y'all had time to watch another episode of Cooking with Black All. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking videos right here on my YouTube channel. Now, y'all have a good one and uh, have a good goulash, baby. I'll see you next time. A little mango appetizer, too. Whoa!